Howdy folks, it's Monday, and we've got something new in. It's so new, I'm gonna have to double check the internet and make sure it's available, because it's just that new. And it's from our good friends over at Depths Tech. They sent us something, you know, with no obligation, just said, oh yeah, we'll send it over to you so you can review it. And I said, yeah, oh, we like that, you know. Depths Tech makes this 420 piece kit, but they also make a rotary tool for the kit, or, you know, a rotary tool standalone if you'd like. Great prices. Depths Tech has brought out something new. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah. Yeah, Depths Tech. Uh, a couple months ago, Depths Tech sent us over this kit, and it was, it is still a very impressive kit. It was 420 piece at a great price and I think we have we'll have a link for description below anyways but it, even if you had like an old Dremel tool like I did uh, these collets and everything would fit it and allow you with and it has wrenches everything on it so the whole kit is it's like it's not just 420 pieces it's a complete kit and all you need is the Dremel or the rotary tool whatever it is you know maker whatever you have and you're all set with all of this, these goodies so you can take on you know those, those jobs that you need to do so that was a fabulous situation. Now, Depths Tech then sent us over this about a oh, month or so later. This showed up, and this is Depths Tech's rotary tool. And you can see it's a it's a complete power unit, but it's a really nice one. And has the also has this extension cable here on it where you can actually you know go in and do a little uh, dental work on your neighbor or something like you know yeah you know. And it also came with some accessories uh, as well. But with the 420 piece kit plus this, it was like, you know, we've got rotary covered, right? At least we thought we did. Depth set came out with. And again, great price. Did I mention that? Yeah. So Depth Set came out with another one. But this is a rotary, but this is a portable rechargeable rotary. So Depth Set now has the a rotary tool is rechargeable or yeah cool and once again inside the box is a box but I do love these boxes they are nice from depth tech because they like to keep everything together kind of thing and we opened it up and again they gave you it's not 420 but you, you've got a tremendous selection of rotary tool uh, parts but this one has an interesting twist. Like I said, it is a rechargeable machine. This one's a little different. Uh, this one is, let's see if I can get this ring out of the way. Well, I guess you don't have to remove the ring. Comes with a USB uh, with a C type uh, connection. Yeah, you know, the USB-C to the US, to the, the common USB. Man, the industry is gonna drive us all crazy with that, I'm telling you. And you can plug her in and charge her up off USB. So, let's charge it up, and then we're going to go to town, right? Yeah. Okay. While we're waiting for the tool to charge up, uh, they also have a nice little, like a trimmer motor attachment accessory that you can add that's in the box here. Also, a little plastic guard you can put over for protecting yourself. You should have goggles on anyways while you're, you know, if you're grinding anything metallic or something that's going, you know, fly away from the wheel. Uh, there's a nice book on it. In a nice case, of course. There's also, uh, again, more collets and stuff. Tremendous amount. It's not 400 piece, but it's probably three, I don't know, maybe it's 300, 200 piece, whatever. There's a lot of accessories in that little box that they include with this particular uh, item. Now, there's uh, one other issue, like I said, I double checked right this morning. I don't see them available from Depths Tech or the internet or anything right now. So this, is, this tool is just that new. There are some other brands out there, but um, my faith is in Depths Tech because everything that's come in from them so far, their endoscopes, all their stuff has been like pretty darn awesome. And they seem to spec out what they want, which uh, is really good. So you don't just get a knockoff product or something that somebody else just changed the name on, but in this case, they've spec the product. So that's a good thing. Let's go see if we're charged up yet. Okay, yes, we're fully charged. <laughs> okay, we have the usual call it up this end. And we've got a little speed on and off switch here. Also a little button lock thing that you can put down to lock this so you can get this call it off and put your tool in and unlock it and spin the tool. Now, the charging is one thing which was really cool. There's blue lights here and the blue lights kind of, you know, blink as it's charging. Once it's fully charged, all the blue lights are just, you know, on steady. It's like, okay, I'm done charging. 
but then you have a speed control which is right here and the speed control runs from 5,000 to 30,000 RPM and you can select each RPM level let me show it to you yeah you select each one so we'll start at uh, let's start her at there we go oh, 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 oh. there we go that's 5,000 and then we'll go to 10,000 15 20 25 30,000 RPM <laughs> pretty cool that is neat. It's not too heavy. You can feel the weight in there. I was like, oh yeah, I definitely got some uh, batteries in there to, you know, take that charge. Uh, the other thing I don't know yet, charging time, I'm not sure. Uh, it was about half charged or something when it came out of the box. So I fully charged it. It took about an hour and a half to fully charge. So we're not sure where we started at. So I really don't have a good baseline on that. Now, as far as runtime goes, uh, that's going to vary obviously with the you know workload and whatever so I don't know how long the charge would be good for okay so I just checked the book I just checked the book and it's kind of it varies with the temperature of course if it's a colder day obviously you're going to get a shorter run time it didn't really give me uh, you know three hour eight hour whatever it just didn't really say that and I understand that it's it would be kind of hard because it depends on the workload the temperature around you that's sort of, just too many circumstances that could changes so uh, nice and smart maybe they didn't say okay can only it'll run for this long when you know it's not gonna happen or whatever but what a cool little item this is unfortunately like I said they're just not available just yet they're coming up they're rolling these out right now so it could be days or whatever uh, once this is available I will put a link in the description below but that could be days or weeks from now depending on whenever that's uh, ready to go the actual model number on this one is the uh, DC08 is the uh, designated model that they gave the new depth tech and it's got a little ring back here that I tried to get out earlier there you go and I guess you could hang it on a nail or something in the shop if you wanted to or hang it from well whatever but the USB can be used that's the USB what do you call it USB 3 I think that's what they call that now is right up here at the back so you can you know plug that in charge it off a USB system uh, and, and also it doesn't draw a lot of power so you could use probably a, even maybe a computer if you had to but I have USB power supplies all over the place uh, in the house out in the garage and stuff where you can plug stuff like this in to charge up for my other stuff so you know that's well that's fine it doesn't jerk your router anything when you start it up which is cool yeah so you saw that you saw that first here because it's uh, rolling out and it's a it's a prototype now Depstech always has good value I mean just good prices and good product and their other products are fantastic for the prices are really surprising and this little portable rotary tool is going to be really impressive too when it gets rolled out yeah right now I I don't know this might be the only one I I can't find any anywhere right this minute, but uh, if you check back weeks from now, like I said, we'll, we'll see what we can do. And uh, we'll, we'll even, maybe we'll even find a discount code or something. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, let's take a look at uh, something I got at a yard sale. I, do, I go yard sale it every weekend, and like I said, I'm kind of funny about tools, but I found this. It was surprising. Uh, it's Bosch trim router. It was brand new. The fella tried to use it once. Uh, apparently, uh, he was going to cut a little, you know, hole thing in a job he was doing, and he thought a trim router like this would do the job. So he bought it uh, with the idea that he would just, you know, cut it by hand. Uh, he ended up with his initials or something in the mess, and actually told me outright he actually went ahead and got a jigsaw and just did the trick because the trial that he could not control this thing. So he gave it up for about twenty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it's every part of brand new it's, it hasn't been run it's a little Bosch uh, trimmer uh, and it's a nice little unit and I just thought I'd show you that uh, every so often you go yard sale hopping you find treasures this week I also got a uh, Craftsman toolbox six drawer it's kind of rough looking um, I might show it uh, I'll show you a picture or yeah I'll show it to you but it's uh, it 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 could use a lot of cleaning up I took an airline to it and cleaned it up and I fixed the locks on it and stuff but it's, uh, it's still got a little ways to go. But again, the, the box uh, went for $30. So that, again, was a great buy. And I, I keep telling you guys, man, you get out there and go yard sale hopping, you can't believe the deals you find. Let's get that crazy toolbox up on the bench here for a second. I'll just show it. 
Boom. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there it is. It's uh, it's the older style with the uh, I think they're 12 inch deep, 26 and a half uh, this way or something. It'll fit all the old Craftsman stuff. In fact, I have the toolbox smaller than this one on a stack. I could probably switch it out and see if I can unlock it now. Yeah. yeah the key wasn't very good with this thing. There we go. Yeah. Actually, one of the cool things, it still had the tray in it, so, you know, that was, that was a surprise. But also, the uh, drawers are a little dirty, but, you know, he had put uh, rubber in the bottom of all of the drawers. So, the, the metal inside the drawers is not all banged up. She's got some rust, uh, granted. We could clean her up a little bit, but she just looks like a nice working toolbox, which I kind of was happy about. But again, for $30, I don't think it can beat a deal like that and there was no tools in it. I knew you guys would ask that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I just got the box, you know. Also got a uh, Craftsman workbench, and the bench is uh, in a bad, it's in bad shape, but I cleaned it up over the weekend and then stuffed it in a corner for the time being. In fact, I put it right underneath my uh, solar panel uh, project where I'm putting the control package and things together. The solar batteries may end up on top of the Craftsman bench at this point as we uh, progress. We're trying to get the solar stuff together so that uh, we can go over that a little bit with you uh, because I think there's a lot of uh, misunderstanding, misrepresentation. There's a lot of good products out there. There's some bad products out there and things you want to avoid if you decide to go solar. In fact, I was thinking about that uh, that rotary tool we just showed and it will plug to a USB. Well, my solar package is and will include USB charging systems, so I can have that out in the barn and be charging tools like that or charging my drills and stuff like that off the grid, charging all my power tools, and I'm not buying or paying electricity to keep those tools charged up. So it might be something anybody or everybody might want to think about, but meantime, yeah, that was the weekend. Oh, man. Oh, guys, girls, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe. We've got a ring the notice bell. We've got a prize coming up. Uh, Thursday, we're giving something away that uh, is pretty unique. And then next weekend, we'll have something else to give away. So I've got some, and I've got some other, you know, <laughs> interesting tools in that are virtual prototypes. So, yeah, <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Over and out.